Bill Gowdy checking in. Man, oh man, today we're going on a different adventure. Yep, I've had some requests. Before Bill Gowdy Jr. and I built the poor man's bass boat, I, uh, I built a prototype. Still using it to this day. I've had to make a few changes, uh, you know, over the years. And uh, it's still working. But uh, the aluminum, we used the aluminum for durability and lightweight. This one's made out of plywood, and uh, we built this, I don't know, before we had the access to the aluminum, I guess. But uh, check it out. So I've added a winch to the front of my boat trailer that I'll take you down and show you the uh, setup. Uh, I put a big uh, heavy-duty battery on there, and I don't know that I need to have that big a battery, but it definitely powers the winch, and I have had no problems with that so I can push a button I just push this button right here it will uh, pull that boat right up right up on the I have rollers on here instead of uh, slides and uh, the boat just rolls right off and then rolls right on because I fish in a lot of different areas in Missouri and I have a 25 horse Evan Rude uh, I don't know it's a 1992 the boat is old yeah it's an old boat it's a I, I don't know 58 I think yep all aluminum I think it's a monarch but uh, I build in a, a stereo system it's got AM FM with a couple of big uh, I don't know, you crank it up here yeah. it sounds nice out on the water it's a 16 foot I got uh, storage up here underneath and you can see that's three quarter inch plywood. Yep, I got my ditty bag in here. I carry a lot of extras, and of course my life jackets. And, and you can see what I use for uh, framing. This is galvanized metal. Now uh, it's a lot heavier. Uh, you, you can tell the difference. I use bricks for anchors. Yeah, because where I fish, a lot of times uh, it has a uh, cement deck. And uh, those anchors, these anchors will hold where uh, a regular anchor will not. And of course, I have it versatile. These these seats lift up, and they'll set right down into that post, or set right here in the middle, or set right back here into that post. So I can fish three people out of this boat comfortably. Yep, I can do it comfortably if I want. I just got a cheap depth finder, but that that moves. This is for when I'm up here trolling and I'm catching walleye or crappie or bluegill. But then I can lift that up out of there. And bring that back and run it from the back and the uh, oh transducer is back here in the back so when you're in the front you're actually 16 foot from where the transducer is there it is right there yep. it's old I got lights I work I when I run at night lights I plug the lights in yep there's the uh, control I got a place for the spotlight turn things on and off right there and this is a battery trolling motor battery in the storage compartment in here yeah. I use a live I use a cooler uh, with this uh, new water well, they're worried about transmitting water uh, uh, aqua aquatic plants so if you pull in water from outside sources, so you don't want to transport water. That's well water right there. That's not river water. So I, I bring my own well water. And it's cool too. You have my fishing rod holders. You got fishing rod holders underneath. So I can fish two cat fishermen out of the back of the boat real easily. Yeah. Two gas tanks and uh, yeah, that's a rod holder right there. Yeah, we're getting a lot of use out of that. That's for the big fish. You're going to fight one for an hour or so. You want to put that? You want to put that harness on? All right, my blades. Here are my blades. Now here's here's one right here. It's an old bone and knife. I keep right here. Always keep it there. I always keep another blade right here in the middle of the boat. Yeah, well, I fish a lot of trout lines. You get hooked up with a, you see that trout, you see that, it's another fillet knife. You get hooked up with a trot line, 
Man, oh man, you wish you had a knife. You might not have your neck knife on or who knows. I just got on one of them that I can grab. Yeah, that's my old bait knife right there. But so I got one in the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. A lot of times I'll have my neck knife on as well. So a lot of times I put my boat in. I just put my boat in and this is not a boat ramp. I don't know how well this will work. I don't have the tripod. This might not work at all. Try to set the camera where you can see I, I just use the roller. Good thing I have a waterproof camera, isn't it? <laughs> so here's a look at my trailer out of the water. Yeah, this uh, on rollers. Just put rollers here, and that boat just rolls right off. A whole lot better. Yeah, but you never know what kind of boat ramp I'm going to run into. And uh, this is a tilt trailer. It has a uh, a pin on it up here that I have pulled out. And then the trailer will actually tilt. Like that. If you can see that. Works out nice. Works out nice. You can put that boat in in places where other people can't. Let's go out and catch a fish, shall we? Just a beautiful day. Man, oh man, just look at that river. Beautiful day. Just that easy.